Hey, Joel, welcome to Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival. I'm at the Cookie Cat booth, and they've got Make Good here. And this is my buddy, Gnome. Great to be here with you. Oh, man, Fantastic. this is- Fantastic. This is exciting. So Gnome and Make Good make incredible things. And one, one of the reasons why I wanted to stop by is this right here. What is this? Okay, so this is a toddler mobility trainer. And it's a device designed for little kids to learn how to build their strength to use a larger wheelchair as they grow up. Okay, so it's not a wheelchair itself. It's a mobility trainer. A mobility trainer, and it's 3D printed. It's fully 3D printed. Everything from the tires, the wheels, the body, the seat, the straps, the buckles, the entire thing was made on a Bamboo Labs A1 machine. An A1, so an a, a standard one. desktop 3D printer That's exactly can make right. all the parts for a mobility trainer. That's exactly right. And we used to make these out of wood. Okay. And with like sewn cushions and things, and they worked really great but they require a lot of work, a lot of labor, and finding the right materials, CNC in the wood is just, it's just a very difficult process. Yeah. And a while ago, we were looking around and saying, what if we could make this with just one skill? That skill being 3D printing. And we challenged our team to redesign the entire device specifically for additive. And this whole thing goes together without any glue. <laughs> no glue. No glue, no real even fasteners. It's all slot fit uh, with pegs and things like that. It's all removable. So. Let's say you drop it and you crack a piece or break a piece, just reprint that one piece and yeah, swap it Yeah, just print it in. and fix it. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? I want you to know that it's fully 3D printed. Like the cushion, the the buckles, like the straps. Yeah, the straps, like everything. The, the wheels. This is a kind of, you can see a wheel taken off. It prints in four pieces. Oh, can I hold that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It prints in four pieces and has this really specific Japanese woodwork linking in between the pieces that's then locked in place with these specially shaped pegs and the tires are TPU as well. And they snap on on the outside. Oh, oh, and TPU being very robust and exactly. resilient. Yeah. And then oh, wow. um, our designer, Philip, designed these uh, almost push rims instead of an actual push rim that you would see on a, a big wheelchair. A lot of kids oh. don't have the dexterity for those. They end up just grabbing the tire. So can we give them something besides just a blank tire to also grab? That's so and cool. And that's what's amazing with the 3D printing. You can really make any shape. So it opens up possibilities that just didn't exist for these kind of devices. Well, and plus with the kids that are gonna be in this, I think I read it was somewhere between two and eight years that's old. Right. Is that right? That's right. Those kids, they're gonna want customization. Like this is a pink freaking mobility trainer. I know, I know. Like, and, it's, and it's curvy and it's organic in nature and being able to customize the experience for kids is really gonna help them adapt to it. Yes. Wow, what, what led you guys down this path? Like what was the, what was there some sort of light bulb moment where you were seeing seeing a, a piece of wood and you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Was was there a wait a minute moment? For for me it was it was like we got a lot of these requests. You know, I have 40 requests right now for these chairs. Four zero. Four zero. 40. And okay. that's and it's growing. And I was looking at my space and saying, I I, I guess I gotta buy a CNC now and <laughs> just go for it, you know? Um, but then looking at the printers and just thinking about the technology, that was where the light bulb moment saying this can actually all be done with 3D printing. And I'll tell you the story of how I found the person Yeah, please, me. please. I went onto 3D printing Reddit and I said, <laughs> hey, here are these awesome wood chairs we make. I'm looking for somebody to help do this in 3D printing materials. And of course, everybody is just jumping all over of me. Of course, like, It can't yeah. be done. One person said, I'll, I'll take it on. Okay. And that person is Skylar from the company Link. They're local to Denver, they're an industrial design firm. Oh, they're here. They're in Denver, yeah. He, for, for very little fee, has poured his heart and soul into helping us design this. He's done and, a fantastic and he's done job, a, a, a man. Truly incredible job. Put it together, following the assignment. When he started with the wheels, like, oh, we'll just buy wheels. He's like, no, no, we're gonna do all 3D printing. Yeah, wheels. I like the confidence, son. It's really <laughs> come together in a way that is actually relatively straightforward for anybody to make. And that's what I'm really excited about is that people all over the world have reached out, ready to make these for their communities, for themselves, for other people and it just makes it a much easier process to deliver this really great device, which really helps a lot of, a lot of kids Absolutely. Uh, around the world. So then if you have 40 requests right now and you can't manufacture all of those or those requests are in places where they could manufacture it there, uh, are you look, like are the STLs out there for people to print? Not quite yet. Okay. Soon. I think by early summer-ish, the next couple months. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, soon. Like this is this is V2, V3 is already out uh, in uh, testing, and then we're gonna have a public release in the okay. next couple months. All the bill files uh, will be made completely for free. 
for anybody to download. And then a lot of people want to play with it. They want, they want to, yeah. somebody wants to make it motorized. Like that's the whole point of it being open source. Um, the next version has accessory rails. So for like parent push handles, tray tables, all oh, sorts of dude. stuff. So once you release this in an open source manner to the community, it's going to be modified in ways that you never even thought possible. That's the best part about this. This summer, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to want to find out more about this. Absolutely. But, but also, they're going to find out about Make Good because yeah. if we look on the table here, you're not just making a mobility trainer. No. Like there's a lot of assistive devices here. We design and print all manner of assistive technology. And this is really just a very small example of our repertoire. Uh, so that is what we call a palm pen holder. And it goes around your palm like that. And we have it so you can set up so you can have the pen going this way, or you can have it going down. You know, it's just a, a easy, accessible way to write. So we do a lot of adaptive writing devices, a lot of adaptive grip devices. This is a pen ball. Oh, I see. So oh, adaptive, adaptive writing, adaptive gripping, people yeah. that don't have full dexterity with their hands. That's exactly right. Then for them to be able to carry a bag of groceries, open a door, hold a toothbrush, Play guitar. Play guitar. Look at Play that. Guitar. Wow. And what it's really about is working with, all these projects came from Man? individuals, yeah. Working with somebody's uh, abilities where they're at and then working backwards to where they want to be. And so this literally was a, a, a kid who had an injury, couldn't hold a guitar pick anymore. He played in a family band. And so we quite literally took his hand, put the guitar pick where it needed to be, modeled backwards to his wrist, oh, and that's okay. how we came up with this. And what helped that one kid now we've we've sent these to people all over the country that have similar uh similar issues that's incredible the models that you create are they open source as well yeah yeah it's all open source we're, we're still working on uploading uh some of our latest stuff we have a bamboo maker world account where you can download okay. a number of these things as well and then if you see something you like you can just email us reach out and we send stls to people that's we send cool. our fusion files to people like we want people to improve upon this make it their own um, and just push this field forward. Uh, system technology is so important. So many people need it. We'll all need it at some point. Oh, right? absolutely. We're all temporarily non-disabled or disabled. I mean, that's- Temporarily non-disabled. That is, that is I didn't, the state. That is, that is an amazing- That's the state. Thing to think about. There hasn't been a ton of gr really great design work recently in assistive tech, and that's what we're here to do. Here to use the latest design tools and fabrication tools to create, you know, unlock these uh, devices for everybody who needs yeah. them. Well, okay, the, the mobility trainer's cool. This stuff is amazing. Noam, a lot of people out there are gonna wanna find out more about yeah. Make Good, about you guys, what you're doing. Look in the camera right there and tell everybody where they can go to find out more. Absolutely, Make Good is a registered nonprofit. We're located in New Orleans, Louisiana. You can go to makegood.design is our website. On Instagram and TikTok at makegoodnola, N-O-L-A. And please reach out to us, support our cause. Everything we do is given away for free. Um, to anyone who needs it. So, you know, we look forward to hearing from y'all, for sure. This is amazing. And we'll put links down below yeah. so people can just easily click. Hopefully you see a bump in your traffic from this. Yeah. But thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all of the assistive devices. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as always, high five. Got one? Oh, that's good. Nice. Yeah.